Hello? Stop trying to lay back down, bro. What happened? I, I thought you were sh Hey! I tied my shoe like 10 times. <laughs> no! It's time to go to the gym, my boy. Come on, get up. How you get ready and then lay back down on, in bed? Babe, you were like, I'm gonna go take a I was like, all right, well, that's gonna be like two hours, so let me just lay down for a little bit, <laughs> take a little quick nap. Quick update on the dog. He's dogging. Bucket. Bro, he, this little, he is so full of energy now. When we first brought him home, he was all shy and <laughs> quiet. Now he's everywhere, humping everybody's leg, tell, humping all kinds uh, of things. Tell him how him and Kiki just have stare offs now. Him and Kiki, so him and Kiki are kind of like warming up to each other a little bit but Kiki kind of just jabbed them up the other day. And so now when they walk past each other, they just both stare at each other. <laughs> you see? You see how she's just looking? <laughs> He's actually scared of her right now, but it's all right, she'll, she'll warm up to him Show Kiki's nails. Oh, Karen just did Kiki's nails the other day. Let me see your nails, Kiki. It's her left, that one, yeah. Let me see your nails. Sheesh! What the f you out here trying to look good for, my boy? Huh? She's trying to look good for her man. The one from across the street. You better not be flirty with that mother because he's a big boy. He'll f me up. <laughs> There's a cat that lives across the street. That's a big ass cat. There's two of them actually. But um, we're going to hit the gym right now, guys. Good morning. It's morning time for us at least. I don't know by the time this video is up. I don't know if it's going to be morning or not. You ready for today's workout? Yeah. Why'd you smack your coochie like that? Babe, why would you say that? I'm sorry. It caught me off guard. <laughs> you smacked the out her vagina right now. Use the mess in our room right now, guys. We're officially parents, so we can't really like clean like we need to. <laughs> Damn, I can only imagine when we actually have kids. That's gonna be hard, bro. Oh. Okay, for sure, that smell like she's in there now. <laughs> <laughs> we've been trying like so hard for the apartment not to smell like puppy and, and cat, and we've been doing a good job. It smells good as in here. It smells like pumpkin season right now. We've been like with laundry clothes, like washed clothes. That was being a comadre yesterday and I was washing clothes. He was being hella comadre yesterday. He woke up and like he just started cleaning. Like he had like clothes on his hand, sweeping this over there. And I just hear him like moving left and right. Like that's all I hear. I'm like, I don't even want to get up because he's going to be like, did you clean your room? Clean your room. Clean your area. <laughs> clean your, you know? And I was like, oh my God, he woke up hella comadre vibes over there cleaning. Like I got in trouble. This yelled at me and told me I had to go fold my clothes. I was like, oh. Okay, yes, Dad. I'll go pull my clothes right now. <laughs> we cleaned, and then we went to Target and bought all this. So that's what you see right here. Look what I found, me and Eddie. We're gonna shoot the reallys to make the clay. I'm done. Look, I got him jock skeleton with this little mask and his little pajama pants. And I got me Sally. The pants, and this is the shirt, and it comes with some little mask too. And then all the clothes in the back. See, I washed them, but I didn't fold How them. How you gonna yell at me and then didn't even fold the clothes you washed? But look, we got this lava lamp, and I didn't like it because I don't like the color of the of the like the frame. So I, I bought spray paint. So I'm gonna spray paint the top and bottom black, so we can put it right there. Hopefully, it's cool. Well, let's see if you do it. Yeah, no cap. Because apparently, you know, in a household when like the pipes are running or the toilet is oh there you clogged. go talking shit, bro hold on when the toilet is clogged or something breaks and you need a little fix in you know or you're just like oh i want to DUI some shit. yeah and he's not the guy for that <laughs> it's me i'm gonna spray paint that shit. watch because you ain't gonna do it no nah, i'm gonna do it you're gonna leave it there for months and then once you see me doing it you're gonna be like babe i got it like scoot over man you know what now i'm not gonna do it man do it yourself. All right, we're gonna head to the gym. We're gonna get this workout in and then, uh. Babe, look who's getting his treats out. Hey, you found your treats? He's waiting for you, he sat down. He knows how to sit, look. Watch this, y'all ready? He sees the treats, right? Come here, come here. Sit, sit. Good boy. <laughs> He's a smart ass dog. Smart as hell. Come here, come here. Come in. Oh, he's still eating. Sit. Ah, here, take the rest of it. Take the rest of it, you little big boy. Go, go, go. Uh. We're gonna go get this workout in. We'll see you guys after the workout. All right, you guys, so we just finished our workout. We're gonna hit Wink Stop right now because oh Karen's my God, been. We're gonna craving. go. We're gonna go. Okay, crazy. crazy. Well, yeah. Do you wanna go there? I wanna go there so bad, bro. Karen's been craving Wingstop for so long now, she was saying. I was shitting bricks because I thought she was pregnant. <laughs> 
False appetite, I mean, false alert. <laughs> we ain't have no baby on this side, my boy. Not just, yet, though. Just fat and craving stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go get some wing stop, and then from there, we're probably gonna head home and um, film the rest of this video for y'all, because as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're gonna be clay sculpted and drunk. All right, we're gonna go eat. We're probably gonna take you guys to wing stop with us, and then we're gonna go uh, sculpt this clay, my boy. Karen had the, this great idea that we should sculpt the, the clays in um, Halloween pajamas, though, because tis the season. It's already October, pretty much. And to scope like something Halloweeny weeny, you know? I'ma make a Halloween dodo. Uh, that sounds cool, huh? Oh, I can make a clay pocket pussy. <laughs> Same grace or for some reason I stopped liking Winstop for a very, very, very long time. But I don't know, I've been mean, watching people at my like usually at nighttime when it's like 10 p.m. on TikTok, I've seen people eating like certain food and I want to eat what they're eating. At least I went to the gym. <laughs> Bro, if you eat wings and your ranch looks like this, you know how to eat good. But when you eat wings and your ranch looks like this, what are you here for? You always tell me shit. <laughs> you ready for this uh, clay sculpting or what? Yeah. All right, let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new video. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe already and hit that post notification bell so you keep up with the latest of our videos for the returning viewers. We love you, welcome back. And today, what are we doing, baby? Oh, we're clay sculpting! Ah, you know when you go to the mall and you see these little stores where you can do like little clay art and then you can paint it? That's what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do it here at home. Plus, <sighs> we're gonna do it with our little friends right here. <laughs> Her name Buzzball and these two big bitches, um, B Box and D Box. And I know you guys that if you guys, unless you've been living under a rock, I know you know what drinks we're gonna make. These are the viral TikTok drinks that everybody and their mama is making. We haven't tried them yet, but we heard they're fire and they get you smacked. So, so it's only right if we do make our cocktails on camera right now. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering why we didn't end up using the costumes pajamas, it's because Karen. Got the wrong size. She got like a little girl size. I so didn't know. We'll throw the picture up here somewhere. It's just funny. This shit came with apron. All right, let's put these balls in that Oh. By the way, we still look crusty because we just came from the gym. Um, we were gonna shower and get ready for this video, but I was like, hell no. We're gonna get all dirty, all nasty. So I'd rather just be nasty as fuck and get nastier and then just shower. <laughs> And if you guys don't uh, follow us on Instagram, I actually asked you guys if you guys want us to do, if you guys wanted us to do a drunk clay sculpting video for today's video. And my DMs are blowing up saying you guys wanted this. So we're not, we're giving it to you. But if you guys don't follow us on Instagram or any of our other platforms, links to all those is gonna be in the description down below. Damn. You good? Yeah. You drunk already? I actually never tried this flavor. I'm gonna try it really quick. Tastes like juice, huh? That shit was ass. It <laughs> tastes like a white claw. Ugh. For real? Yeah. No. Really? This one does taste ass right now. Usually these are good. No. I don't like beatboxes though, because beatboxes, you like, I don't like- You like my beatbox? I do. I mean, that Ew. Ew, okay, no, okay, I'm okay. just kidding. <laughs> Have you seen that movie from uh, that music? It's like a parody movie, and the teacher is like the yoga instructor. They're making fun of Step Up. And then the yoga, <laughs> the yoga instructor, the ballerina, whatever she is, her pussy starts beatboxing. No. <laughs> I'm like two shots of vodka. Damn. So for today's video, we're in October already, y'all. This is the season. Halloween season is here. So we're gonna try and make um, Halloween sculptures. We're supposed to wear the pajamas, but I'm a big ass bitch that didn't fit. Nah, Karen for sure bought a kid size. She bought like a fucking a li little girl size pajama. I don't know what she like. Did, did you even look at it when you bought it? I just got the biggest size there. I thought that that was the right size. Not gonna lie, these look really cute. Like the color is giving a lot. She looks good. I don't know the ratio in this. I don't know how much you're supposed to put, but I just put half and and, the, and one of these. Wow, so do we mix them or we just let them like, be like I see people mix them, but. Should we mix them? All right, let's mix them. All right, y'all. So we got, Karen actually got everything we needed for today's video. I always get everything we need. Yeah, that's facts. Karen got the spinner, little clay spinner, so we could like spin the clay. And we got the, the pottery tool kit. And then we have, these more little stuff are. right here. And I got us these, like he said, and I got us two pounds of clay. 
Literally, this whole box is a block of clay. Look at this shit. It's heavy too. Whole block of clay. But anywho. You ready? Let's try it. Try it. Cheers. Chug half of it or you're a bitch? Oh, uh, well, my mama raised one, so how about that? No, I'm just kidding. Here, cheers. Alright, cheers. Wait, 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 wait. Damn, I wanted to cheers you guys too. Cheers to you guys who are at home drinking with us because it's Friday night. You ain't got no job. And you just got paid if you do got a job. <laughs> so celebrate to that. We love you guys. Let's see what this tastes like. I'm not gonna lie, it still tastes like a, like a buzz ball. Maybe you put too much buzz ball. Should we put more of them? It still tastes like a buzz ball, but I do taste a little blueberry razzle dazzle in there. That shit tastes like straight buzz ball. I'm gonna put a little bit more. In if you just wanna get drunk, just say that. No, I don't. I really wanna see if like, it'll taste different. and buzz ball together. That's a crazy ass combination. I'm gonna still drink it though. So, you ready or not? All right, so we needed to get a, what is this called? A, a plug, a outlet extension, an extension cord. There you go, I'm drunk already. To plug both these motherfuckers in. And just luckily, Karen had one of these ready to go. Here. Uh, what are you gonna make today? I am very into uh, mugs, so I'm gonna make a mug, a Halloween mug. Karen wanted me to make a mug too, but Look, it's hey. Oh shit. Okay, go. Yeah. Imagine just owning a restaurant bringing a drink out like this. Hold on, I gotta post that. <laughs> so this is for you and this is for me. You got our fucking toolkit right here? I asked to clean, I asked you to clean the damn table. It comes with all these tools right here, look. Look. Yeah. I think for today's video, I'm gonna make a skull. I wanna make a skull for some reason. Or should I make a bat? Baby, make whatever you want to make. At the end of the day, we both know it's not going to look like that anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Karen because she was like, what did you say? You were like, let's do a competition or some shit? Yeah. She was like, let's compete who sculptures the best. Like, let's let's make the video based on that. I was like, hell no. Nah. Because knowing you, fucking Leonardo DiCaprio and shit. <laughs> what? Who is that? that? He has nothing to do with art. <laughs> he is an artist. Leonardo DiCaprio, you don't know that? Oh no, you had called me. Oh no, wait, no, no, no. Isn't that the guy from Titanic? <laughs> it is. I'm like, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, Jack? I'm that Leonardo Da Vinci. <laughs> My fault. I'm like Leonardo DiCaprio. Bro, Karen is good at everything. You said, bro. um, <laughs> what's that bitch name? Mona Lisa. You said, you gonna be Mona Lisa today. Bro, Karen would be like, I've never done this before. And then she'll have fucking sculpture of some shit, like super crazy ass, nice ass, in the museum ass sculpture. Should I make a shot glass or, or, or should I, I'm gonna make a, damn baby, you need help over there? I'm struggling. I'm gonna make a mug, I'm gonna make a mug. How are we gonna get that clay out? I'm gonna just grip that bitch and grab a, a chunk. Can you grab me a chunk too? Oh. Is it hard? So we, need, yeah. we need water too. Is this enough or not? Uh, no, that's not enough for a tasa. Tasa? You want to make a whole base? No, uh, a mug. I'm gonna make a mug. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Uh, uh, I think this is a good amount for me. Uh, I actually think this is a good amount. What? That one? Yeah. You don't want this bad ass <laughs> chunk there? No. Alright, I'll use this one. Fuck it. Alright, guys. So, when me and Eddie were like, we're gonna film this video, I'm wetting my little thing so it can start getting shaped. Damn, we're dirtying the fuck out of everything. We were like, what should we talk about, right? Because I don't want you guys to be bored just watching us like scope stuff. And we both came up with a, a top, this looks like shit. We came up with a topic of talking about all of our pregnancy scares. Yeah. Right? yeah, so. I know we've talked about a lot of shit in our videos, podcasts we've been on, and a lot of you guys are like, you guys talk about this before, like we want new stories. So we're gonna fucking tell you guys about the trillion pregnancy scares that we've had that I'm sure a lot of you guys that watch this can relate to. For those who aren't trying to get pregnant right now or who weren't trying to get pregnant right now, 
Yeah. Pregnancy scares are the scariest thing, especially when you're not trying to have a baby. That shit is so scary. I remember one time specifically, and uh, we were in high school. We, I think we graduated. We had just graduated high school, and Karen was giving me every symptom that a pregnant girl gets. Every symptom. And keep in mind, I'm a scary ass motherfucker. Even if I used a biohazard suit, I'd still be scared. Like I'd be shitting it. And one time Karen was like, I woke up and I started throwing up. I'm having headaches. I'm craving weird shit. And she was like, I don't know. I just feel like something, something's inside me. Like, <gasps> I feel like something's growing inside me. I did not me. say I that. I swear you said that. And she want, bro, I felt like she wanted to be pregnant so bad. <gasps> No, I didn't, babe. Don't say that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I remember when she said that, I was so fucking scared. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to focus on this. I was like, how you, how you twisters like that? How are you halfway done? I can't even get mine started. You need to wait. How many times I have to tell I you? I did. A lot. So I was saying, I was so scared I was shitting bricks. So I was already saving my little fucking checks that I was getting from Jack in the Box. At the time I was working at Jack in the Box. <laughs> and I was already saving my checks. Like I was stacking them up. I had like two or three checks saved. And then she told me that she didn't get her period on time. I was like, no way I'm gonna be a father right now. No way I'm gonna be a father. And she ended up getting her period. <laughs> I spent all that money I had saved up so fast. Do you remember any specific like pregnancy scare that we had? Yes, I will never forget the pregnancy scare we had when we were both at work. Well, I was at work actually. Why weren't you at work? Oh, the, the one from San Diego? Yes. Oh, shit. Tell him, yeah. you're a good storyteller. You want me to tell him? Yeah. Why? So you can fucking beat me in this club? No, hell no. You tell him. No. You want me to lose, man. I'm not. We're not competing here. Oh, we're not? No. I thought this was a competition. Is it? I don't know. Is it? Well, let me know right now. This shit is hard. It is hard, guys. People in the movie. <gasps> can we can we create that scene what? from Ghost? Let me see. Come behind me. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Don't I got to make a ball? I'm doing a skull. <laughs> Touch it. There was this one time in San Diego um, where me and Karen, we went to San Diego for a night and then we got a little freaky, whatever, came back home and we had to, we had to buy Plan B. So we bought the Plan B, but it comes to find out the very next day after she took it, she was, she was ovulating. No, that day, the day that we, I got freaky. Yeah, the what? day, we, we ended up finding out the next day after she took the Plan B that the day we got freaky, was the day that she was ovulating. Mm -hmm. I said that right? Like the main day, like day, that day I was like, for sure, for like hella fertile. She was ovulating like a motherfucker. So <laughs> we ended up looking up like, do plan B still work if you're ovulating? Plan B still work we, if you're ovulating? You, I, I was, was looking work. up, cause I'm a scary ass bitch, like I said before. I was at work. Karen actually. was at work, it was my day off. And bro, I was shitting it because I was like, fuck, do plan B's work when a, 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 a woman is ovulating? And Google was telling me no. Every website I was going to, they were like, no, Plan B doesn't work when a, a woman is ovulating. Plan B doesn't work when a woman is fertile. Plan B doesn't work. It was just telling me everything on why Plan B wasn't gonna work for us. I was like, fuck. So I immediately made an appointment with my doctor. He made an appointment with his doctor. <laughs> you heard that right? He made an appointment with his doctor. While I didn't even know what was going on, I was just chilling at work, all right? Having a regular work day. And so the, the doctor answers, hello, whatever, whatever. I, I had made a phone appointment same day. I was like, bro, you gotta help me out because I'm stressing the fuck out right now. I am shitting it. Like, I am so stressed out. My heart's already at my asshole. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm damn near about to cry. I'm gonna have a breakdown. I was 18 at the time, 18 or 19. And he was like, well, what's going on? Like, are you okay? And I was like, He's like, I think I might be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I fucked my girl. We took a plan B and now I think she might be pregnant because she was ovulating. Like, please tell me it's not true. Please tell me the plan B still works. He was like, yeah, the plan B still works. As long as she took it within the three day time frame, you're good. Stress of relief. But before he told me that, I had called Karen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, like, I, remember I called you. Karen when she was at work. Right after I kind of like went too far into the story. I called Karen as soon as I was doing the Google searches. I was like, dude, we fucked up. Dude, we fucked up. I was literally pacing like this. No, hold on. He, I, was, he, I was like this in my mom's kitchen. I was like, bro, we fucked up. We he, fucked up. Look, pretty much, I was at work, right? And he calls me like three times. And I noticed that he called me three times back to back, but I couldn't answer because I was busy with the patient. So then he texts me, call me back immediately. It's an emergency. Call me, call me, call me. So I run to the restroom. I'm like, what happened? I'm literally like, hello? He's like, you're pregnant. 
you're pregnant. And I'm like, what do you mean I'm pregnant? He's like, bro, like he started explaining to me everything about like that the plan B didn't work and like I was ovulating and I was like, no, I wasn't ovulating. Bro, I checked my app and a bitch was ovulated, real ovulated. And I was like, there's no way you finished inside. Like, I'm pregnant. Did you tell him that? That you finished inside? Oh, shit. No, I didn't. You, but I'm pretty sure they got it. If I right. you he, literally, it he literally finished inside. So I was like, what do you mean the plan B doesn't work? He's like, yeah, it says that the plan B doesn't work. And I was like, there's no way, bro. There's no way that didn't work. So he had me so scared because I'm more of a chill vibe. I'd be like, ah, nothing happens. Like, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Right? But Eddie is always the one to be like, no, dude, like, you're not fine, like, you know, and he puts things in my head, so you know what happened? I'm at work crying my eyes off because with no pregnancy test in, in hand or no doctor telling me I'm pregnant, Eddie told me I'm pregnant, and I was like, oh, I'm pregnant, like, what am I gonna do? Like, literally, I was literally pregnant, and he was like, you need to call your doctor and make an appointment to see, like, if it's true, right? So keep in mind guys, although I'm like saying that I was like crying, I was crying because I was scared, not because I didn't want to have a baby. Like if I was pregnant then, we would have had a kid right now. And it would have been no problem. But you know, we're just scared. Yeah, there's and absolutely nothing wrong wanting to have to have a baby at whatever age you think you're ready, go for it. But we just felt like we weren't ready yet. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. So I had to run to my nurse, charge nurse. And I was like, bro, like I think I'm pregnant. Like I have to call my, my, um, my doctor. I have to schedule an appointment. And she's like, yeah, go ahead. Like take your time. Like. Call, make an appointment and call whoever you need to call and like do what you gotta do, right? And I was like, okay, bet. Because my coworkers were cool. They were always super cool. So I, he made me schedule an appointment as well with my primary and my primary. My primary was no help. He was like, well, if you guys had sex and you, you guys took a plan B and, and um, you were ovulating, there's a big chance you could be pregnant right now. And I was like, you're not helping me and making me feel any better. So he's like, yeah, just take a, take a pregnancy test. And I had called Eddie and he's like, fuck bro, like take, can you leave work? And I'm like, I cannot leave work, bro. And then he was like, well, can I take you a test? Like, what do I do? And then he was like, hold on, I'll call you back. And that's when this motherfucker made a whole appointment for himself. Yeah, sorry. I was so like into the story, I like skipped all that. She ends up calling me like a minute later. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> And I was just like, nah, I'm gonna talk to my doctor right now. So I ended up talking to my doctor and he was like, nah, you guys are good, you're solid. So it kind of relieved us a little bit when yeah. I told her. But nah, we didn't, obviously we didn't end up being pregnant. No, but oh my God, it was so funny. Cause like I was literally probably, I didn't work for like two hours cause I was crying those two hours. And my coworkers were just like, ah, oh, she's, she's, this is ain't you. Like she's always going through something. Yeah, we were like 19 at the time. 19 or, 19 or 20, 19 or 20. No, we were 20 because you worked there at 19. I didn't start working there until. Yeah, we had to have been like early 20s for like, yeah, 19, 20. You know any other stories that you remember? Yes, literally like a couple days ago. A couple days ago? Yes, babe. When? Baby. Recently? A couple days ago. Re recently? Like recently, recently? Yeah. Hold on, let me make this clear. I wasn't scared. I said, we uh, we ready, we ready. I you were shitting bricks this time, and I thought that was so weird. Because usually it's me, Karen's just like, ah, ni modo, pues. So what si estoy embarazada, estoy embarazada. This time it was reversed. I was like, fuck it, you pregnant, you pregnant. <laughs> and Bro. she was like so scared. I don't know, maybe because I feel like it was because you finally thought like, it was gonna happen. It was finally gonna happen, you know what I mean? So you were shitting it? Yeah. Okay, so let me just say something. I feel like me and Eddie be joking around about having kids all the time, but like lately, like, come on. Lately, we've both been more like, well, if it happens, it happens vibes. Yeah, we, we have been. We have been. Like, we have I just feel like we're hitting that age, you know? Like, we're we getting kind of older and. We haven't had, like, we haven't been like acting like how we used to act when we were younger where we were like oh, no like we're not ready right now now we're just like well if it happens it happens right and if it happens i'm gonna be super happy like i'm not planning it we're older now so if it were to happen like i'm gonna be so happy but i'm not planning to i'm not telling him like let's have a baby right now like if it's in if it's in our path to have a baby right now we'll have it but this last time basically haven't been careful we haven't been careful we haven't we just been going raw dogging it and just, hey yo oh sorry <laughs> we just been like going at it you know and we haven't like cared for it and i've been the one documenting everything on my calendar so i'm just like mm, like this last time i really thought that that was the time like we were really gonna be having a baby and it's funny because eddie had told me after like i got my period he was like oh you know that i really thought that this was gonna be the time you're gonna be pregnant huh baby told me yeah. that? what did you say i was like 
I'm honestly surprised you didn't end up pregnant because I really thought you were gonna be pregnant this time. <laughs> but it was weird. Like maybe I'm I'm ready now because like not you, not you don't take that and like okay we're gonna go and try and make it like start a, a family right now. But I'm saying like maybe I'm just getting older. I don't know what's going on because this time I wasn't scared. I wasn't shitting it like I usually am, and I was just like I was like fuck it. If it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? When you think about it. And that being said, now that he said that. I'm just like, well, maybe now I do want to have a baby because I know that he's not, um, he's not scared. Cause I was scared and I feel like I had to be scared because usually he's the one who's scared. Does that make sense? But my whole thing is I don't want to have a baby yet. Like I don't want to have a baby yet only because, um, I want to get married first. I want to buy a house first. I just, I want to get my shit right before I bring a human being into this world. Same. But I don't know, this time was different. I was like, shit. <laughs> I was over there looking at strollers and everything. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like this time it was so different because I, usually he's the one who's scared and I'm the one who's like, it's okay, babe. Like, nothing's gonna happen. Like, we're good. And now this time I was the one who was scared. But it was, it was weird because he had no reaction to it. Like you really, you were, you really had came to accept like that. Maybe we're gonna be pregnant this time. I was like, fuck it. Were you really? Babe, when you told me you got your menstrual, I was like, damn, I really thought you were gonna be pregnant this time, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, like whatever's about it. And I thought it was weird too. I think I'm just getting older. I don't know. Maybe I just see all these kids in my life right now, and it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna try and- I'm like, what are you making? Yeah, I'm gonna try and like reshape what I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm making. It are looks you like a rock. rock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a rock right now. All right guys, so I think I finally figured out what I wanted to make. Um, You guys are gonna see at the end though. I'm not gonna tell you guys right now. One hour later. Oh, you know what? It looks like a pumpkin. This could be a fire ass pumpkin. Hold on, I think I'm on to something. Are you changing it again? Yeah, I'm changing it again. I'm just gonna tell you what I was making. I was making a buzz ball. <laughs> <laughs> So but it kind of looks like a pumpkin now. Tell him how scary I was all the time. Just tell him in high school, like, how scary I was. Till, like, last month, maybe? Till up to last month. Eddie has always been super, super scared to um, be a baby father. Literally. Like, this man would just take it to the... Like, he was always so scared that... I was. He would be. He would like nearly cry if he thought that there was something like. I wouldn't cry. I would not. There's never been. I said like nearly. That. Yeah, I would damn near cry. I'd be this close to crying sometimes. I don't know why I was just so terrified of like being a baby daddy so young. Like, was there, were you? Nah, felt like I, you, you know the what? Wrong person? No, no, hell no. Nah. I feel like I was scared of the responsibility. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm still scared of the responsibility. I felt like way back then I, I had the mentality where. I was like, damn, I can't even take care of myself. What makes me think I'm gonna be able to manage to take care of a human being, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's what I was so scared of. And I'm still I'm kind of scared of that. I, I don't feel like nobody's really ready to have a baby until you actually have a baby, but right. I feel like I'm, I'm a little bit ready. I'm a little bit ready. I raised the cat, she came out fine. <laughs> I raised it. I'm raising a puppy right now. He already knows how to sit, so I'm mad. What do like, you want to have when we have kids? Uh, it doesn't matter. All right, would, guys. So basically, what we're trying to say is that from from like last month and forward, that uh, if we get pregnant, we get pregnant. No one, hey, 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 no yeah, one no, take no, it. No. They won't take their surprise because we are literally telling you guys. And um, nah, what do you want to have when we have a baby? I still got my plans. I still want to buy a house and get married first. Well, of but. course. But what we're trying to say is that if it happens, it happens. We're not like forcing it, and we're not like trying. But if it happens, it happens. And if it were to happen, what do you want to have first? Um, I love to be a girl dad. Girl dad? Why? I mean, I would love to have a boy too, but I don't know why. I feel like, I feel like girls just love their daddies more. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, is that why? Is yeah, it because he loves me more. I want, I want to have a kid. I want to have two kids, a son and a daughter. One so I can have a daddy's girl, and then the other one can be a mama's boy. You know? A mama's boy? Literally. You ready to change diapers though? Hell no. What are you excited to to do when we have kids? What is like your first like? Take them to like their sport classes and shit. Ah, what if they want to play sports? Uh, take them to their like book reading club classes. I don't know, just take them to those things. So you want to be an Uber, Uber driver? Yeah, I want to be that dad that, <coughs> damn, fuck. Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I want to be that dad that uh, owns a minivan 
and has a little family painting on the back of the window. You know what I'm about? Like me, <laughs> yeah. you, our two kids, and then Kiki and Rocket. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. For those of you who don't know, we named Rocket um, Rocket because he looks like Rocket Raccoon from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. What would you What would you want to have as your first kid? I want a girl only because Eddie wants a girl. So I want to give him like. Because I feel like the girl gets the most of the experience as far as being pregnant. Like, you get to feel everything, go through everything. So, I feel like the one thing that mean? I would want. What do you mean? What do you mean, like, with girls who get most of the experience? No, I meant, like, us girls. The girls who get pregnant, the ones who carry, they get more of experience, like, of the pregnancy rather than the guy. Because, obviously, you can't carry a baby in your stomach. Oh. So, I would want to have whatever he would want to have. Because I would want to give him what he wants. But, of course, you know... Everybody says healthy baby, but if he wants a girl, I hope I get him a, boy, a girl first and then a boy. Yo, my fucking pumpkin looks like Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, that was so sweet though. Babe, what, how many kids do you want to have? One or two. Uh, wrong answer, try again. Dude, Karen wants like 45 kids. Like my testicles don't even carry that many kids. You're stupid, dude. I don't want 45 kids. How many do you want? Four. <laughs> Yeah. I want four. That's a lot of kids, dude. What's oh, not, bro? Don't get me wrong, for all my, my parents out there hustling with four kids, I salute you. But I just don't think it's for me. Well, what? I know what's good for you. What what sport would you want your son to be in? Like, obviously, whatever he wants to be in, but what sport would you throw at him first? Boxing, basketball, baseball, football. I like those sports for boys. You? I want him to get into clay sculpting. Shut your ass up. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> All right, babe, I got a question for you. So let's pretend we have kids since the topic is us having kids, right? Mm -hmm. What if some little boy is bullying your son at school and you mm -hmm. catch his bait, you catch that little boy's dad at the parking lot? Like... I'm whooping his ass. No, I'm just kidding. How would you approach the dad at the parking lot? It depends because what if his dad has no knowledge of it? Turns out the dad's bully too. Oh, he's getting his ass whooped. Hey, man, his son. Like, hello, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. But um, my son just notified me that your son pushed him. Um, I don't give a fuck about your son. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Shit! I did the whole split right now. shit is hard. Those of you who do this for a living, I give you props. Yours came out fucking sexy and shit. Sexy? Look at this nice ass mug. Like, I would use this to drink coffee in the morning. My shit, you, you guys want to see mine? <laughs> Alright y'all, so this is mine and this is Eddie's. Obviously I want to add some more design to mine, like Halloween-y stuff, because that was the whole point. But I want mine to dry because I'm scared of the little handle's gonna fall off. And um, if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, then your mom's a hoe. And like, I don't understand why you've been watching this video this far out if you're not even following us on Instagram. Bro, this, this clay sculpting shit is hard. It is. Like, this is, it's really hard. Low key, there's clay everywhere. It's hella messy. There's like water and shit on the floor. The whole counter looks like somebody's sharded. I have a stool right here. It looks like I sharded on there too. But I'm so excited. And if you guys follow us on Instagram, we're going to show you guys the final result once it dries. Right, babe? Yeah, so go ahead and follow us on all our platforms while you're at it. Link to all those is in the description down below. By the way, I didn't even get to finish my drink, but the little bit I had did give me a good buzz. So I will rate this little concussion drink, the little beatbox and the pussy, I mean the beatbox and the buzz ball, a good, um... I will rate it like a good 8 out of 10. It's not, it's not bad, it's actually pretty good. It's all right, it's pretty good. When I first tried it, it was kind of ass, but when I added more of the beatbox, it's pretty good. So just know guys that we might have kids soon, and if your kid ever messes with our kid, it's gonna fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to at least, but we're gonna wrap it up here, you guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe again. Turn on the post notifications. If you fucked with it, if you didn't fuck with it, thank you for watching at least. And don't forget to follow my YouTube channel. I'm gonna put my YouTube channel in the description down below. Starting next week, I'm gonna start posting more videos. So don't forget to comment suggestions and things that you wanna see on my channel. Remember, that channel was mine. 
This isn't on there. It's just of me. You can make an appearance here and there, but it's my channel. And um, yeah, forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next motherfucking video. Let us know. Give us suggestions on what you guys want to see from us. Do you guys want to see more personal life shit, like what we go on a day-to-day -day basis, or what our life, morning, night routine is? Let us know in the comments down below, or just like ideas that you guys want to throw at us that we should do. Right, 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 right. Because, but below. like, let us know if like we're we can do videos where we're not drinking, because a lot of our content has liquor. And I, I feel like now I can't record without drinking, so I kind of want to get away from that a little bit, low key. <laughs> I'm so sick of it, bro. <laughs> but all right, we love you guys. Thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys always give us. Again, make sure to watch our last video where I gifted Karen Rocket. Rocket is so cute. We're actually gonna post a video of Kiki and Rocket interacting right here. Um, this is their interaction after what a week, maybe? How long have we had him for now? A week. Yeah, a week. So they're doing really, really good. Don't get me wrong, no, Kiki has thrown a little, a little something here and there, but Rocket knows that, you know, it's her house. So they're adapting and I love that. So we're gonna show you guys how they look. They're literally just having stare offs, bro. Like they just like walk past each other like this. <laughs> they're just like, bitch. Bro, <laughs> they'll, they'll walk past each other and they'll just sit down and stare at each other. They're like this, look, Eddie's rocking on Kiki and they're like. Just keep walking. And then Rocky would run off. Literally, that's how they do. That's all they do all day. All right, you guys, we love you again. We're gonna wrap it up here again. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh! And we'll show you guys the final results on our Instagram. So see y'all later.